here I have a boilerplate. So first what we need to do is npm install Firebase and npm install UID. UID is to create an ID that we will use later so that we can delete the to-do and we can add to-do, right? Alright, now let's add a, a Firebase.js since we're going to use Firebase. Then we'll, let's go to our Firebase and let's create a, a Firebase project, right? Let's create something like, I'm going to call it for, I'm going to call it, I'm just, I'm just going to call it Firebase. Disable. Next. Perfect. Now let's go to our. Okay, yeah. We're well, since we're doing website, let's go for website. I'm gonna call it FB Crud. Register app. And then we're gonna have to install npm Firebase, like I said. Copy. Install. Copy this, paste that here, and we're just going to delete the comments. So right now we don't have access to our database, so we're going to do import, hit, database, from, database, database, right? And here we're going to export, const db EPS, hit database, not database, database out right so that's all we need inside firebase.js we can just x this out and then here all we have left is, is, to, is to install uid right so npm install uid and then here we're just gonna click continue to console right see all build features real-time database right okay so here we're gonna create real-time uh, select your location. Click next. We're gonna we're gonna start in locked mode. Enable. And then let's go to rules. And then change false to true so that we can write to the database and I mean uh, read from database and write to database. Publish. And then data. And then we should be good to go. Inside object app.js, we have to import db from database. Uh, Firebase. There you go. Alright, so let's npm start, and then let's also import the UID just we the UID that we just installed from uh, UID. Perfect. Okay. That's fine. Okay, so there's two things that we need, right? We need an input, and oops, sweet. and we need a body called submit. Perfect. So here we need to right to read, update, and delete. So we're gonna do right first. To do right, all we have to do is const. We we have to make function called write to database. You can call anything you want. And the functions that we need to write to the database is set. Set will create a object to the database, and then we also need a reference to our database, right? Reference we we need to use the the database that we just imported here at top. And then the name or the key of the object. So here we're gonna use our the UID that we imported. So console UID, UID. Alright, perfect. The uh, UID that we just created to be a uh, the the key. So we have our UID right here. So it's gonna it's gonna be like zero one A B two something, and then the object that we have this is the UUID that we just created this is going to be the key of the object I think and uh, we have our to do right here and then a UUID okay so that's UUID okay so we have our UUID right here so this UUID that's the reason why I created this so that we can delete the UUID I mean that, that we can delete the to do right and then this is the, the name of the to do so it's gonna be like I don't know 
clean room or something. But uh, <clears throat> okay. So here on the right, so we am gonna use set function uh, set from Firebase reference from Firebase. We need a database, and then the, the key of our <clears throat> of our object, and then the values, right? The values we are called to do to do. But since here, since we have the same uh, name here, you can just call it to do just like that. And then we need our new ID. Perfect. That's all we need. Now we can do to do. And here to do. It's, uh, oh, it's going to be new ID. It's going to work the same. But since they're the same, we're just going to do it like this because it's easier to read, right? <clears throat> okay, so see. Here, uh, it's looking for ref and to do, right? So here, five is the database set, and then reference ref, and then here to do. Uh, we're gonna use something called a uh, five. I mean, a uh, React hook called a uh, use from React. Perfect. And then we're also gonna use use effect later, and then here use state, and then do const to do set to do use state then uh, initially this, this is going to be playing initially so let's see uh okay right here const handle uh to do change right <clears throat> and then here we're gonna set the to do to e the target that value here we're gonna pass in the e and we're gonna use the handle to do change right here so for the input for the value attribute we're gonna use to do and then oops and then for on change we're gonna pass in the uh, handle to you the handle to do change function that we created make sure you close your element there we go, perfect. And then here, uh, for submit, uh, for the button, for on click, we have to pass in the write to the database so that it will write to our database. All right. So, right. And then once we write to the database, we want to clear the input text, so we have we have to set to do blank. Okay, so once we write to the database. Uh, this input text will reset. Okay, so now let's try. Let's put like clean submit. All right, it cleared. Let's go to our database, and there you go. And we have our UID, and we have what to do. Of course, you can add things here like uh, complete, and then you're gonna have a boolean like false, and then you can update update it later uh, if you want. Uh, you also need a function for that, uh, but I'm not gonna explain that here. I want to explain it uh, as easy as easy as possible, right? Perfect. Now let's add one more, like uh, play games submit. Let's go to our database, and here we go. Play games and our UUID. Okay. Let's see. Uh, do read, right? So uh, to do read, uh, what we have to do is let's put the put the put the read at top. The read. So for read, we're gonna use use effect. Uh, so it's gonna be something like this. So if you want to know uh, the use effect or uh, the use state, uh, I'm pretty sure that there's there's some videos out there that uh, explains explains it better than me, right? So these are React hooks. Okay, so for now let's leave it blank. Uh, let's see. So for read, what we have to do is use the function is called on value on value we're gonna eat our reference to our database and then at snapchat reference to our database snapchat and then const data equals snapchat that value so now we have our data. What we have to do is if data uh, is 
not null, then run this. Sometimes a uh, database is empty, so if the database is empty and then it's trying to get the the object, it, it's gonna uh, it's gonna give you an error. So we don't want that. So here we're making sure that if data is not null, then do this. If the database is empty, then don't do anything. But here we need the object, and then uh, so we need the values of the data, and then map. So for each to do, what we have to do is here font to do set to do to do state and here we can have an empty array. Perfect. So set to do is here. So here we go set to do. We're gonna take the old array and add it to the new array. So New array will be to do. Uh, I mean, a new object. So inside the array is going to be objects. Now we have the to dos right here. So now, once this finished, we will have all the to dos. So here, go to the bottom. And what we have to do is map to do. And then h1. To do, to do, and then we have a button called uh, update, and then we perfect. Now let's go back to our firebase. There we go. Now we have one, two, three. Okay. Okay, we have to. So let's add something like uh, room. Or yeah, room. Okay, so it should only add one. What we're going to do is set to do is right here. We have to reset the empty. I mean, we have to reset the array. So let's save that. Refresh. And then let's add something like uh, my test. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. So we have our. Oh, so we have our red done. Right done. And then here we're gonna do uh, delete. Right. So delete is easy. All we have to do is. Const create a function to delete the to do so const handle delete. So here, right here we're gonna pass in our to do. So on the on the delete button, we're gonna do on click. Handle. And we'll delete. We're gonna pass in our to do. And then here we're gonna use the remove function from Firebase and then the reference, right? So here, database, and then, and then the UID that we want to delete. So it'll be to do that UID. Perfect. That's all we need. And make sure that you import uh, remove from Firebase database. And that's only and pick it up. All right, perfect. Now let's refresh and delete. Perfect. Okay. So yeah. So we only have update left, right? So let's add something like play games rule But so I wanted to. If we click update, I want this text to change, right? So here, I have to do s edit, and we're gonna set it to false initial. We're gonna create a function called undo update, and then we're gonna set s edit to true. We're also gonna uh, create a temp UID and a set temp to UID. You say, and then we're gonna set this to uh, an empty string, right? So here, once we click on the update button, what we want to do is set the temp ID to to do that UID, and make sure that we uh, pass in our to do object here as well. Go on, click, 
and all update pass in to do object and then here if is edit is true then do this else you want to do this submit change perfect so it's edit is the boolean that we just created so if this is true run this render this if it's if this is false then render this right perfect and we're also gonna create a button called x to on click to set is edit to false okay so let's click update and then click, let's click x perfect so so let's pull so here uh we have to handle submit handle submit change and then here we have a function function called uh, handle submit change and then here we're gonna to update the to do what we have to do is update the reference to our database our db and then the the id that we want to update right the to do that we have, we want to update so here we have to we have pass in our step uid and then the and then the new object so we'll say to do and then UUID will be to do will be UUID. perfect uh, let's see so once we handle submit change we have to reset the input text so to do to an empty string and then we also have to set this edit false perfect let's make sure that you import uh, update perfect so now let's update clean rule no but first uh when when i click when i click update i want to show clean clean room right here so how do we do that well let's see all we have to do is once we click update handle to do we will set to do to, to do to do perfect Let's update games. Perfect. Meeting. Perfect. Play games. Uh, clean room. Perfect. Now, once we click X, I want it to reset as well. So here, where so when we click X, we 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 are just setting the edit to false. So here, what we have to do is do that. Set, set that is set is edit to false and set to do to an empty array. All right. So here, let's click clean room update, and then let's click X. Perfect. Update change game meeting X. Perfect. All right. So now what we what we have to do is update clean room, and then don't clean room. So let me change. Perfect. Let's do play play games all day. All day. So let me change. Now let's delete it. Delete games. No games. Let me change. Update. No games. Real games. All right. Meeting. All right. You get a point, right? So delete. Delete. All right. That's everything. That's crud. Yep. That's Firebase crud. Easy. So I'm gonna push this into my GitHub repo, so you can check it out. I'm gonna leave the link down in the description.